So welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second part of this video, which is repurposing our chicken and gravy that we made yesterday and making it into a yummy lunch idea. So I'm gonna be using the two ingredient dough and I'm gonna be making a chicken pot pie. So that chicken and gravy recipe, tell me that that not, did not look amazing. Huh, and well I can tell you it tasted amazing, so I hope you guys try it. So now I'm gonna take that chicken and gravy, which I added, you saw I added vegetables to it, which was not in the original recipe. So it's gonna be more like a chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna make individual chicken pot pies. They're gonna be like in a turnover style, kind of different, I don't know. I, I'm really thinking outside the box here. I've never seen anything like this before, but I'm gonna use the two ingredient dough and make us some chicken pot pies. So let's get right into the recipe. And this will probably be no surprise, but we're gonna do this using the two ingredient dough. So I'm gonna do kind of like what I did with the empanadas that I made, which I will link those down below and up above here, um, the caramel apple empanadas. So it's much like that. So I'm gonna start out with that same recipe. This time I'm gonna use, I have a cup of the gold metal self-rising flour, and then a cup of this Kirkland plain non-fat Greek yogurt. So the only points that we're gonna account for is gonna be for the flour and then the filling. Um, so if I can get four of these, there'll be three smart points a piece, actually four smart points a piece counting the filling. So it'll be a four smart point chicken pot pie and I think it's gonna be yummy and filling and so, so good. So let's start by making up this dough. So you wanna stir it together just until it starts to kind of form as much as you can and then you'll have to put it out on your um, surface here so just put a little bit of flour down here we're just gonna pour all this out and we'll just form a big dough ball okay so i kneaded it for a few minutes and so now i want to weigh it just to see how much it is so i know how many equal pieces I need. So it's 390 grams. So four then would be a little bit less than 100. So what, 90 times four is 360, 95. I am so bad at math, you guys. Okay, so it's 97.5. So we'll just come as close as we can to that for each one, because I want to do four. Oops, I turned it off. That's 95, 110, 96, 100. doesn't take much to add on there, 93. 97 and this one is 103 so which one was it was 95 you guys are probably laughing at me <laughs> I'm trying to get it as close as possible okay so they're all about 97 ish Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and take each of these and we're going to roll them out. Just kind of want to do it in a little kind of rectangle. Make sure you have enough flour on your surface where it doesn't stick to it too bad. I know some people, I used a cooking, I mean a cutting board last time, but I thought I would try it without it, but I'm thinking a cutting board is a good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna measure out the filling now. Now, 200 grams of this is one serving, which is um, one smart point. One and a half servings is two smart points. I think I told you guys in the other video that it was three smart points, but it is two smart points. Um, but I don't think, and I did a half of a serving, it's still one smart point. So I think I'm just, I think a half of a serving is probably what's gonna fit in here, but we will see. 
And I think it's a really good idea to make sure you do this filling cold because when I made the empanadas, the filling was a little bit warm still and it, and it caused the empanadas I made later on off camera to break and it just heated up the dough too much. So I think you definitely want a cool, uh, your filling to be cold so it doesn't mess up the dough. Okay, so let's, oh, I think, hmm. I just don't want to put too much and overfill it, but I want to get the most bang for our smart point. So I'm going to do, I'm going to measure out 200 grams, because that's going to be one point regardless if we do 200 grams or 100 grams. So at least I know what our threshold is. I know I won't go over the two point, I mean the one point, I'm sorry. Okay, 199, that'll do. So let's take our little thing here. You guys, this is gonna be so good. I can already tell. Oh, maybe it will take the whole, the whole thing. Mm. Let's see. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> okay, so now that my hands are all washed, I am just going to kind of crimp the edges here. I probably filled it a little bit too much. So definitely just just kind of experiment with um, how much filling to put in. I mean, just kind of, you know, play around with it and see. I would start out with a little, but it's probably easier to add more. Okay, so I got a little egg wash here. So this is just some egg white. So I'm going to go ahead and find my brush. So I'm just going to brush this a little bit of egg white. And then I also grabbed some spices. I just think it, since this is a savory, I think I want to put some Italian herbs. I think I'm going to sprinkle some Italian herbs on there. And then I have some onion salt. And then some garlic powder. And then I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet. I'm going to finish the rest of them and then I will be right back. Okay, so they all are ready to go into the oven. I always have one that looks terrible <laughs> of anything I make with this dough. Anyway, so I'm going to get these in the oven at 350. I'm going to do it for about 15 minutes. My oven can be very unpredictable as far as um, how long things to take to cook. So I'm going to start with 15, but I have a feeling it's going to end up being 20 um, or more. So I will let you know what it ends up being. But again, you'll just always want to let your oven be your guide. Okay, here they are out of the oven. It did take 25 minutes. So again, just watch them and just figure out how long for yours. So each one of these is four smart points and it is a really good size. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, it's, it's a nice size. So hope you try this. There you go. Four smart points. Yummy. It smells amazing. I think you guys will really like this. You could pair it with a salad and then you would have a four smart point dinner. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and showing how you can repurpose leftovers and it doesn't have to be just the same thing that you're eating. You can repurpose it and make it a totally different meal. So I hope you will try these chicken pot pies out. Let me know if you do. Um, take a picture and tag me on social media. My um, social media stuff is um, linked down below. I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.